Pokémon Tournament is a Pokémon fighter game that was developed by Bandai Namco, the same team that made Tekken and Soul Calibur. The gameplay features phase shifts, where the gameplay switches from field phase, where the Pokémon move freely in an arena environment similar to Naruto Ninja Storm, to dual phase, where it plays like a traditional 2D fighter, along with having a support system similar to Fighter C and Marvel vs. Capcom. Pokémon Tournament was first announced in 2014 and was released in the arcades in 2015. It was then later released on consoles for the Wii U system in 2016 and was then later ported to the Switch with added content in 2017 called Pokémon Tournament DX, along with two battle passes in 2018. Going back to the tweet at the beginning, there's been a lot of talk lately about a Pokémon Tournament sequel ever since Katsuhiro Harada made a tweet that he will be open to make a sequel, but it's up to the Pokemon Company and Nintendo to make the call. Although Pokemon sold well, both for the Wii U and the Switch port, the game has some flaws that I'd like to address if we end up getting a Pokemon Tournament sequel. I'm going to list four main topics and my explanation on how to make the Pokemon Tournament sequel to be one of the best games ever made. first topic I want to talk about is the online. The online is one of the most important aspects in a fighting game. Pokemon Tournament matchmaking is one of the best matchmaking compared to any other fighting game out there. You can easily find matches both in rank and friendly games. After a match, the game will give you the option to search for another opponent and this could take about 30 seconds from finishing the first game to starting the next game. Bandai Namco did really well when it comes to the matchmaking. Unfortunately, Pokemon Online does have some issues that I'd like to address. One of the most important online features that Pokemon Tournament doesn't have is a lobby system. Having a lobby is important when you want to play with a group of friends or when you're streaming. This helps tremendously when it comes to online tournaments. This is a major feature that needs to be added for the Pokemon Tournament sequel. Another option that should be added are filters. Challenger. Filters help you search for an opponent who meets a certain requirement. Whether you want to find an opponent with a better connection, a similar rank, or in your country, it gives you the option to do that. Another option they should add with a lobby system is a spectator mode. This is another staple that current fighting games have. We can't even spectate any matches in group matches. If they add lobbies to Pokémon, add the option to spectate live matches as well. Having a lobby system is a good addition, but you also need to add a spectate setting as well while you're waiting for your match. The closest thing we have to watch other players' matches is the replay channel. And since we're on the topic, let's talk about improving the replays. First off, we're able to save a limit of 32 matches. That's not like a good number, right? Well, for Pokémon Tournament, you can only save a max of 8 replays for each game mode, 8 from Rank, Friendly, Group, and Wireless mode. So if you want to play some matches with a friend in groups, you can only save 8 games. That shouldn't be a restriction to only save a certain amount of replays for certain modes. They shouldn't even be separated, you could just add it all in one section and have the actual match to show where the match took place. And on top of that, the replays can get corrupted when you want to save the replay. Yeah, that can happen at times. I don't know why it happens, but that also needs to get fixed. Another quick change that will work out well is to tweak rank a bit. First off, let's talk about skill level. Skill level is the experience that you make by leveling up your Pokemon by using them in battle. What this does is that you can increase your Pokemon's stat in game. Whether this increase attack, defense, support effectiveness, or your burst mode, you can customize it however you like. The real issue is that you can use skill levels in rank. We shouldn't be able to use skill levels in rank. Also, let's talk about stages for rank. Pokemon stages have different sizes and shapes. 14 meters, 16 meters, 18 meters, and 20 meter side stages. There's even an oval shaped stage as well. Not only the stages differ in size, but you also have to round from a certain distance from the opponent depending on the stage. So for some stages you could end up being nearly full screen against a sonar or close to an aggressive character. 
that's not good for a competitive mode like rank. The standard competitive rule set for stage is the fixed battle arena where everything has the same stage size as Ferrum Stadium. That's what should be allowed in rank and only that. This is something that a lot of players want and that's to improve the netcode. Either less delay inputs or make it rollbacks essential for competitive players to get into a fighting game. I know a few players and friends who play any fighting game if it has rollback. So if we're going to add a rollback, more players will play the game. Next topic I'm going to talk about is more content for the Pokemon Tournament sequel. Content is what gave players to come back and play the game. Content alone can appeal to both competitive and a casual audience. Wii U Pokemon didn't receive any new additional fighters while the arcades got four. Darkrai, Scizor, Krogonk, and Empoleon. But then, when we got a Switch port one year later, we received the four arcade characters and one additional character, the Situai, along with a new support set, Liden and Populo. Following up, we receive a battle pack that includes two additional fighters, Angus and Blastoise, along with two new support sets, Mega Rayquaza, Mimikyu, and Mew and Celebi back in 2018. It would be nice to see the game get even more characters every now and then. There's over 1,000 Pokemon. I'm sure they can add at least 7 new fighters and 3 more support sets. The battle pass worked out for Pokemon Tournament DX. They just need to give us more characters. Imagine if Greninja was in the game, or Breloom, or Lopunny, or even Deoxys, Cinderace. Heck, I want to see Stunfisk in the game. Of course I'm not asking for an absurd amount of characters like Smash Ultimate, but Pokemon needs to give us more characters and supports to choose from at a good pace. People will love to see their favorite Pokemon in a fighting game. Something I wanted them to add in Pokemon since day one are outfits and costumes for the Pokemon, both fighters and supports. A lot of the current fighting games in the market have some sort of customization when it comes to the characters, and I know Pokemon do a fantastic job when it comes to outfits. Look at Pokemon Unite, so far it's confirmed that they'll have outfits for Pokemon. Imagine the possibilities that can go with this. Honestly, I would love to see Pikachu with a trainer's hat, Brixen's contest outfit from the Pokemon anime, a beach outfit for Garchomp, Sir Aaron outfit for Lucario, and so much more. Something I want to see in the Pokemon Tournament sequel are more modes and offense. Pokemon Tournament DX added a 3v3 mode and it was pretty fun, but that wasn't enough. I would like to see more fun and exciting modes to do something every once in a while when I'm relaxing. Perhaps a boss mode where you fight all the champions from the story mode or are always in burst mode, or a challenge mode where you have to beat a certain amount of players in some requirements like using a specific character. They added a daily challenge was a good idea, but it only gives you skill points, which doesn't really add much to the gameplay. A good idea for skill points would be to only allow it to be used in a quest mode, where you can unlock various outfits, titles, and player customization. This can be a great idea to use in story mode as well. Both can be played out together in one big adventure, where you have to level your Pokemon in order to fight and or beat stronger opponents to unlock more content similar to the Pokemon main titles. They could have it to where your Pokemon are either weaker or stronger against your opponent depending on you and your opponent's skill level. One of my favorite features I want to see added are events. Special events that last for a limited time that gives you limited titles, avatar customization, and outfits for your Pokemon. For example, a Halloween event that will give you a limited Halloween title and outfits for the dark and ghost type Pokemon. Or a Gen 4 event where you get outfits for Gen 4 Pokemon and avatar customization based on Gen 4 trainers. I would love to see some sort of monthly event for the Pokemon Tournament sequel. Last topic I want to see improved is the training mode. Training mode is pretty good, but I feel like it could be a bit better. DX added a replay feature to help you understand specific attacks, but I think a little more wouldn't hurt. 
For example, adding frame data. Frame data is a good option to have in any fighting game. Still, as of today, we don't know how active certain moves are, so this is a good addition to have in training mode. A hitbox, hurtbox viewer is another good option to be added in the Pokemon Tournament sequel. There's a few moves in this game that have some sort of the most chanked hitboxes and it would be nice to see it visually. Some of the moves can be a bit deceiving like Dark Rise Clone Explosion, which is active for a very long time. Move properties is one of the most important options they need to add for the Pokemon Tournament sequel. Pokemon has 6 different height properties. Highs, mid highs, mids, mid lows, lows, and special mids. Tekken has the same amount of height properties, but they show the height in training mode. Some characters can even up stance or down stance starting attacks depending on the height. For example, Scissor up stance can armor through special mids, or Blastoise down stance and armor through high attacks. This option is a must in my book and it's one of the two that needs to be added in the Pokemon Tournament sequel. What's the other option that's a must to have in the Pokemon Tournament sequel? That will be a phase shift points indicator. I can't stress this enough. Knowing how many phase shift points you have or how many opponent have is very important to your play and your decision making when you can account the risk reward. Thanks for watching. Pokemon is an amazing game and would love to have a sequel. If a Pokemon sequel were to come out, I would like to see more Pokemon and outfits for the Pokemon as well. What are some things you'd like to see in the Pokemon Tournament sequel? Let me know in the comment section below. Till next time, take care and stay safe.